Welcome guys, I can't believe it, this is part 9 out of 9 of the world's longest live streamed haul ever. <laughs> I guess that settles it. <laughs> there might be hauls that are longer up there, but this is the longest live streamed one, so let's get started with the last part of it. Hi guys and welcome to the final part of the world's longest live streamed haul. Uh, we've been doing this for eight da days now. This is the ninth part to it. We did two parts the first day or was it the second day? I can't remember but eight days in total it took us. And here we are uh, getting on with the last part of it. We have 2380 kilometers to go. Shouldn't take more than two and a half hours, maybe three at worst. But we will get it got done uh, before nine o'clock this evening. Uh, let's have a look at the map, see where we are. Uh, before we look at where we are, let's see where we started. Because I always love looking at this map. Vladivostok, that's where we started. Uh, could make this one a little bit longer, perhaps, if we started in Ruski. But we started in Vladivostok. It's a city everyone knows where it is, I think. Hauled all the way to Moscow, through Europe, and then from San Gregorio all the way up to where we are right now, Karakarai. And from Karakarai, it's just a short trip, 2,380 kilometers, to our destination, Moron. <laughs> and <laughs> now it's going to be difficult for me not to think about Moron getting to Moron, completing the hole. Um, I'm going to still try to do it without having another crash. There's been enough crashes uh, during this hole. And um, I think we had three crashes in total. That's more than enough. And it's um, three too many. Sometime in the future, one beautiful day, I will be able to complete a hole without any crashes whatsoever. Maybe. <laughs> uh, this one wasn't the one. <laughs> Have a crash at the end and start over. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Uh, good for you. Make sure you uh, start following me on, me on Twitch as well, so you don't forget about it. Uh, Marco, how much money will we get from this haul? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it claims I'll get 1,128,723 euros. No, we're not. Because we have 5% damage to the cargo. Never mind the truck cargo, that's tire wear. And most of the trailer wear is... Uh, sorry, most of the trailer damage is probably 39% tire wear as well. The rest is damage. Uh, hi, Aladam. Yes, I'm close to Moron. 
<laughs> Closer than ever. Uh, 2,300 kilometers to go. So in, in a couple of hours, two and a half hours or so, we will reach our destination. Uh, I'm feeling okay, Olaf. Uh, it's, it's quite all right. It's, I'm not seeing the same pattern, at least not just yet, as my daughter and uh, her cousin have had. Uh, which means feeling better for one day and then worse again. Uh, uh, I was feeling better yesterday. I'm not feeling a lot worse today. Uh, but I, I will not lie. I'm really looking forward to taking a day off after this. Um, I'm not feeling... I, I think I'm starting to feel better and better every day. But at the same time, my, my body is getting more and more tired, so it still feels horrible. <laughs> but it's okay, this is the final part to it, so we're gonna get through it. Uh, no, it's not worse than yesterday, Olaf. It's a... No, it's not worse. It's just that I, I feel... But I feel even more tired today than I felt yesterday, so... So, it, it, in one way it feels worse, but in honesty it isn't. Uh, Casper, yes, I've heard of the Project Greenland map, and I've downloaded it, you should too. Although it currently only contains one city, uh, there will be more cities in the future. And I'm very curious about the new cities, because I, I'm really curious as, uh, curious, as, <laughs> curious as to how he has solved the problem of... Well, the fact is there are no roads between the different cities. In Greenland, so I'm very curious to see how we have solved that. Will there be a ton of ferries, or will he actually create some icy, snowy roads similar, perhaps, to those we had on the um, Antarctica mod? Hi, Sunny Boy. Yes, I did get the results, and uh, as I've said before, there are four of us who have it. Two have been confirmed to have COVID-19. Uh, Mine was negative, and so was the other one. So we have, in the family, a total of four who have the same symptoms, two have positive results, two have negative results. Um, I'm pretty sure I have it, but I will not claim to have it because the results came in and it is negative. So, yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, in a couple of... I don't know, three or four weeks, I could take a antibody test to see if I have antibodies. And in six months, I'll be able to have the shots taken. So um, it's just a matter of time, regardless of when I have protection against COVID-19. Uh, name, <laughs> brilliant name there, name, uh, how to change, uh, to move your head around, uh, check out the video description on YouTube, there you'll find my videos on Toby Eye Tracker 5, which is what I'm using to move my head around. COVID ETS2. <laughs> Yeah, I might do the IgG tests uh, in in four weeks or so. Uh, right now, I'm I'm just frustrated about it. I really look forward to having a positive result, uh, making it feel worth feeling sick for almost the entire haul. I mean, I think I lost my voice the second day of this haul, and that's when it started. So, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do to change anything, so um, whether I have it or not doesn't really matter to me anymore. Moving on. <laughs> uh, it's a wonderful plantation. I don't know what it is. Um, it's probably something that's good for you. Uh, corn or something, I don't know. Food.
Uh, the Steam account Cholak. Oh, I don't, I don't know the details specifically. I think you need to have four hours or something in game, perhaps. Uh, but I, I can't really say I don't have the details. Speaking of, any of you trying to uh, start a game by using Truckbook today? Truckbook was updated today. And if you click the download link, because you can't get into Truckbook without updating it. So if you click the update link, it tells you that you should complete your ongoing hauls before you update. <laughs> because the haul will not be registered on Truckbook, or possibly not be registered is what it said, I think. So, <laughs> it looks like, no matter what, <laughs> the hall will not be registered on Truckbook. But good news is that Truckbook now, in the new version 1.37, I think it is, uh, will allow you to use warp uh, point 0.9, point 0.8, point 0.7 if you like. So that is really good news because there is, I know this, there is a, there's at least some of you who have been using warp point 0.8 instead in the past. So have I. Uh, not live though, but in some on some profiles I've used point 0.8 instead. And um, now you can use it and your haul will still be registered. Happy New Year, Kalia! Where have you been? I haven't seen you in three days now. I was getting worried. I'm so happy to have you here, Kalia. Welcome. Uh, no issues with trucks, book. No, there's no issues. It's just that if you have any ongoing hauls, uh, halls that you started registered when Truckbook was on version 1.36. It might not be registered if you try to complete that haul on the new version 1.37. Aha! You're recovering! And um, that's what I thought. Uh, that's actually what I, what I said yesterday um, about you not being here. <laughs> But I'm very happy that you're here now, Kalia. Good to see you back here. 2021. It's gonna be a... Why are we stopping here? Way better year than 2020 was. No matter what happens. Good evening, Gavit. You missed out on the Hidden Road, Kalia. We did the Hidden Road yesterday. Only 23,000 kilometers. No, it's actually not even 23 anymore. 22,000, sorry, 2,200 kilometers to go. Uh, upcoming combos nuns. Uh, as I have stated quite a few times over the last few days, I will, for the sake of the community, not make any map combos um, anytime soon. Uh, the reason is that uh, Rowex might go completely uh, PPM, which means it will be a paid mod only if I do create a map combo and use Rowex. Um, don't have to go into the details because I'm getting tired of it. But my decision has been to uh, stay away from making map combos for a while. Uh, I will be back doing more map combos in the future, but right now for the best of the community, I'm not doing it. Uh, it's not really my decision, Nance. Um, but, 
Rowex is threatening to withdraw the free version of Rowex if I do include Rowex in any map combos and as I see it there's really no need for any map combos without Rowex right now. It's just pathetic all of it but it is what it is. Uh, Nance, it's not forever. I will make new map combos. Don't worry about it. It's just that I'm not doing it right now. Yeah, it's a pity. Uh, I agree. I enjoyed making them. Uh, there are others making map combos. I will not... Um, uh, I will not say that you should replace my map combos with this or that person's map combos. Uh, but there are others that make them. And... Um, that's what we have for now. When I go back to making map combos, Thanos, no, there will be no Rowex. My initial plan was to continue using Rowex, despite um, uh, Rowex saying that I they wouldn't allow it. Uh, uh, Copyright-wise, uh, I think they now agree with me that they can't stop me from using it, uh, which is why they then made a statement saying that if I used it, uh, they would um, make it PPM only, so paid only. Is ProMods any good FMC repair? Uh, yes. It is, in my opinion, the best add-on map out there. So, uh, it's definitely very good. Yeah, Sonny, I like the Romanian map by Alexandra as well. Uh, to replace Rowex, though, we don't need more of uh, Romania. <coughs> we need more of Ukraine from someone else. And Promods is currently working on uh, Romania, uh, sorry, uh, on Ukraine over time. They will have, and I'm pretty sure of that, they will have most, if not all, of Ukraine in there. So um, it's just a matter of time. Hi, DJ Pro. Uh, pro mods do work with EAA HC Gaming. Um, if it doesn't work for you, you're doing something wrong. But I think the last global map combo I did release included both Pro Mods and EAA for 139. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a fix if it doesn't work for you. Prince, I don't have to go to Moron to become Moron. <laughs> uh, Mads, if I've seen your comments regarding what and where. <laughs> Hi, Uttergan. Uh, let's see, it's um, 8.30 in the evening. I'm going to make a quick change to... There we go. <laughs> yeah. And the biggest morons are those who have been heard for the entire hall. <laughs> I'm not going to mention any names, Olaf. <laughs> um, but you're not the only one. I've been there too. I'm just as big a moron as everyone else is. <laughs> Uh, we haven't seen Frozen, Olaf. You don't know who Olaf is. Do you want to build a snowman? Casper, <laughs> uh, yes, I do know why Norwich looks stretched like that. It's caused by uh, the UK being... 1 to 15 slash 1 to 19 scale and there's nothing we can do to change it using the um, uh, 
uh, background maps that I have been using on my map combos. It just looks like that. Nothing to do. Uh, Mads tell you had a secret paper under your keyboard. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, Mads, let me guess, you're around 20 years old. Uh, 18 to 20 probably. And your definition of secret is putting it somewhere where people can't see it immediately. That's under the keyboard. I did the same thing in your age. <laughs> so it's uh, <laughs> experience. <laughs> uh, HA Gaming, the number of mods I'm using now, that I think the total number is 19, but that includes five mods, which combined is Eastern Express. So I'm not only using two map mods, really, Eastern Express and EAA, and that's it. Truck, of course, is a mod. Uh, sound mod... Um, the uh, background map mod small things like that but this is ouch this is uh, not a profile that I'm using to add a ton of mods I'm uh, using this profile for this haul and I'm using as few mods as I can because I want to make sure that we won't have any crashes and I'm, on, I'm, I'm happy to say we have had zero crashes during this haul which is way better than we did last year. <laughs> uh, why I didn't repair my tires, uh, friends? I don't know. Uh, I just didn't want to. <laughs> I want to see how much tire wear you get from 33,000 uh, 33, kilometers. Uh, Delay, thank you very much for uh, subscribing on YouTube. Hi, Star Ride. Uh, hitting the barrier was a crash. I acknowledged when we started this live stream that we've had three crashes, Kalia. So I totally recognize that it was a crash. Mojo and Paul, thank you as well. Thank you very much for subscribing. Now you'll have to excuse me. I need to focus. Uh, why this steep hill? Enjoy it while it lasts. This is the last time I'm using this truck. I'm gonna donate it to charity in Moron after the haul. So, um, this is the last time you see the truck in the skin, and, um, uh, well, yeah, it's the end. <laughs> uh, Rowan, yes, I did get my, um, test results. Turns out, according to the test results, I do not have COVID-19. I, the uh, results were negative, so I'm apparently healthy. <laughs> uh, Richard, no, in this case, damage to the truck whatsoever doesn't affect anything. Uh, it's cargo and it might be trailer as well, but honestly, I'm not sure that the trailer affects payment either. I think it's only the cargo. Milpil, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, DJ Pro, you as well. Uh, 122 Hampan and uh, Shrodzin and everyone else, thank you very much. Uh, we are currently on EAA. I look healthy. Honestly, I'm sitting here sweating right now. But it's okay. Um, 
I'm, I'm also a little bit relieved uh, since this is the last day of the haul. Uh, we will complete this today. Look at that, 2,000 kilometers to go. Uh, there will be no more surprises uh, during this haul, which I appreciate. Hi, DJ Pro. Now, you don't have to repair your tires. Uh, it doesn't affect anything. Someone said... I did a video on what happens when you reach 100% tire damage. Nothing happens. But someone claimed that uh, you lose some traction. Uh, I didn't feel any loss in traction. Uh, the person who said it also said that it only affects traction while it's raining and sure enough I have not tested it for uh, traction loss during rain. Sunny, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Train Geek! Hello! Uh, Kieran, love to you from Sweden! You took an IQ test to figure out how old you are, Mads. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> you don't have a birth certificate or something instead that tells you how old you are? You have the same problem, Eagle? Well, maybe I'm... I'm just too insensitive, I guess. I'm not sensitive enough. <laughs> Hi, Rev and Vadim, I think. Privet. I've seen this before. I've been here. <laughs> I remember this place. That's why I crash Olaf. <laughs> uh, the game I like the most is ETS2, simply because it's more because it's more mature. It's it's twice the age of ATS. It's been around for twice as long, so you have way more mods for ETS2 than you have for ATS. The game themselves offers exactly the same thing in different parts of the world, uh, so I don't see any made the differences between the two games other than the trucks and the the, the location of course it's Dennis my bad Privet Dennis I see a Russian name and I instantly think oh that's gotta be Vadim it wasn't <laughs> Okay, so you're 11, but have the IQ of a 17-year-old. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't stay like that. <laughs> uh, Nance, I do hope I will be presenting some uh, upcoming and released maps uh, over the next few days. There's one in particular that I'm hoping I'll be able to do that with. Uh, but I will say that tomorrow I will probably not do anything because I kind of need a day off. <laughs> Fair enough, Olaf. <laughs> uh, Lord Cryptic, we're doing great. Uh, we are doing the last part of the haul today. 1,947 kilometers to go. Uh, two more hours and this will all be over. <laughs> IQ, Kalia, is some kind of snack. Delicious. 
I kind of like IQ actually. But it's e it's difficult to find here in Sweden. Which road was that you said about EA, which is same like yesterday hidden road? Uh, the hidden road we took yesterday was to Manol's. Um, it wasn't the same as another road. GMC Logistics, Happy New Year to you. Uh, if I'm going to start a new World's Longest Haul, yes, I will, in uh, 11 and a half months. <laughs> I only do this once a year, so... Um, uh, hopefully, it'll be, I don't know, 35,000 kilometers, perhaps. Casper, I paid for the whole speedometer, so I'm going to use the whole speedometer. <laughs> uh, not funny. I'm trying not to speed. Marion, happy new year to you, sir. How are you doing? Uh, well, the trickiest thing, Lord Cryptic, isn't to find a job uh, that allows you to haul a hundred thousand kilometers. That is easily done. Uh, it's just that I'm not doing it by uh, creating a route myself. I pick a starting point and an end point and let the game itself figure out the, the rest of it. Uh, if I created it manually, this haul could quite possibly have been 40,000 kilometers long, but I don't see the point in that. Look at the sky. That's some serious winds up there. Hi, Loss. Happy New Year. Uh, one difficult thing is to find one without a lot of ferries. Um, the other one is to find ferry, uh, sorry, mods that allows you to make it as wide across as possible. Uh, we could have started in Vladivostok, taking it all up to Murmansk and then back down to perhaps to Italy and then to to Scotland and from Scotland to somewhere else, I don't know, and done it like that, but that's kind of faking it. And it's not what I want to accom uh, com uh, accomplish with this. Um, I'm doing it because it's fun, but I'm, it's also interesting for me at least to, to see how, how much longer we're able to create a hole now than we were a year ago or two years ago. So, um, to me, one of the most interesting things is that two years ago, the longest hole you could create was 20,000 kilometers. Last year, it was 26,000 kilometers. This year, it's a little more than 30,000 kilometers. <laughs> uh, maybe you could uh, give us a live test of it on, I don't know, Rowex Marion? <laughs> I'm kind of regretting that when I crashed into the uh, barrier just 10 minutes into part one, I, I do regret that I took the easy way out and just teleported uh, onto the road again. 
because I think that's the only time we actually have teleported during this entire haul. I can't remember us having teleported any more than that. And uh, looking back, I wish I hadn't teleported. I wish I had just backed up back onto the road instead. Um, had I done that, we wouldn't have had any teleports, which would have been a first for these halls for me. Hi, Fred! Wait, what? Fred, you're saying hi to Uffe, Olaf, Thanos, Kalia, but not me? Um, then let me just disregard my hello to you. Ah. <laughs> uh, 1800 to go. God damn it, I, I forgot to attach my brain before I started, Fred. I didn't see that, otherwise, otherwise I forgot you said it, so... I'm gonna un-take it back. It is totally possible to do a million kilometers, except not on Earth. It isn't a million kilometers to go around the world, around the globe, so maybe we need a universal uh, truck simulator first. <laughs> I wish I had an IQ of 42. Back up the truck to see <laughs> Fred say hello. <laughs> Almost, Colin Lonely. Seven, 1,780 kilometers to go. A little bit more than an hour and a half. We're finally getting there. Uh, no, I cannot drive any faster than this HC Gaming, uh, because the speed limit is 80, and I'm doing um, actually a little bit too much. Uh, Alex, Alex, it's very, very difficult. I'd, I'd say impossible to create a mod that creates a starting point and end point for your haul. Uh, but it's pretty easy if you use something like Virtual um, Speditor instead. Uh, Cruz, where have you been? We're actually on our way back from Moron to uh, Vladivostok. <clears throat> Hi, Michael. Uh, Nance, uh, Virtual Speditor, I've done a video on it. <laughs> so, um... Search for, I don't know, Wombat Truck Reverter Speditor and you'll find my video on it. It's getting pretty old, but the uh, program works beautifully still. It has been updated a few times, obviously, since I did my video on it. Maybe it's time to do another video on it. One jumped out. <laughs> uh, 
Uh oh. Another one. Yeah, the virtual spinator is excellent for things like this. Uh, it's a uh, tool I can't do without. I'm not using it a lot, but for things like this, it's it's the perfect tool. Uh, Mohammed, uh, if the trains just keep on spawning, it's either because you have traffic set higher than one, uh, could be you're using traffic mods on top of the combo itself. But uh, the combo shouldn't mean that you have. Look at that! Sort of a Pionero. Uh, but you shouldn't have uh, trains spawning in constantly! Uh, what a... Moron! Damn, he missed. <laughs> Thank you for your support, Olaf. There we have it, Mohammed. Traffic mod probably reason. Oh, hang on. Let's have a quick look at the map. Uh, yeah, uh, we're not there yet. That's for sure. Uh, this could be interesting. Slow down. I don't know what that sign said, but it was probably nothing good. Also, if you if you try out the Facebook IQ tests, you don't know anything about cybersecurity either. So, stay away from them. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh! We're gonna go this way then. I had completely forgotten about this. So, we're taking a little detour. Sunday boy, thank you for being here. Take care, buddy. If I've ever crashed at 100 kilometers an hour, sure, that have happened. Uh, the track is the same as the last EAA stream was. 
Uh, yes, it is. That's correct. Whoa! Oh, for crying out loud, come on! Oof, that was close. Yeah, it's the same one as we did when we covered the new parts of EAA 6.0. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching too many as well, Olaf. I also remember this one. There's nothing new here for the next hour. <laughs> I might be becoming too repetitive just doing the same thing over and over and over. <laughs> Actually, I had, I had, for real, I had actually forgotten we had already done this road. Ooh. You'll play for me, Delved. <laughs> Thank you, that's very kind of you. Well, it is a little repetitive, isn't it? Because we literally did this parts, these parts of EAA a month ago. Don't stop. Uh, yes, Aladem, I've done Alexandria's Romania map. I live streamed it. I think I did a video on it as well. You can't really get tired of the Scandinavian roads, especially on pro mods, Carl, yeah, so uh, that's easily forgivable. And I'm not gonna speedrun it this time, Rev Counter, because I don't want to do any more damage to my truck, trailer, or cargo. See, 1587. This is dangerous part. This is when I'm getting impatient. I want to make to the destination. I want to end all. Uh, just the vanilla maps, even Kalia. Well, then it is repetitive if you're just doing Scandinavia over and over and over on the base map. Or with a DLC. Uh, I don't have a lot of damage, Lord Cryptic. It's tire wear. Literally, literally all you see there is tire wear. And that doesn't affect the engine or uh, anything, so... Um, it's perfectly fine.
Hi Toby! Welcome to the final. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, Toby, I I mean, I don't have COVID-19 apparently, so I'm, I'm, I'm healthy as hell. <laughs> Except I'm sweating and I have a headache and um, I'm thirsty again. <laughs> I'm okay, Toby. Um, but I'm I am looking forward to having a day off tomorrow. Um, it is work day here in Sweden tomorrow, but I actually took vacation tomorrow. Uh, just because, well, I needed one. Well, there is a new SARS-COVID-192, isn't there? Isn't that what they call it? The uh, new and upgraded version of COVID-19? Uh, Rowan, I can stream for hours. Uh, I because I enjoy doing it, I guess. Thank you very much, Nance. I appreciate that. I appreciate your kind words. Uh, you have a great evening, my friend. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time again. <laughs> Comes with a set of steak knives. <laughs> The new version will not only kill you once, it will kill you twice. So it dash nineteen dot two. Okay. So that's the name. Uh, Traffic Max, thank you very much. If I, I live in Sweden. I've lived in Sweden for many, many years. Uh, the landslide took place uh, hundreds of kilometers from uh, from my family, so my family isn't affected at all. But um, of course, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone affected by the landslide. So thank you very much. <laughs> Nineteen point two was a bug fix. There it is. Yes, <laughs> brilliant. Oh. <laughs> ah, this is getting hilarious. Change log for COVID two point oh. Previous tests are incompatible. Oh, and break. Well, maybe I have the beta version of a 19.3. Could be undetectable. Is COVID-19 freeware? Open, perhaps? Open source, perhaps? Maybe we could compile our own version of it. Or maybe COVID-19 doesn't work on wombats. <laughs> well... If, if COVID-19 is from uh, China, it can't originate from China. China only makes 
uh, copies anyway. So it's it's probably a virus they copied from the US or Europe, I guess. <laughs> wombats doesn't run away from covid covid runs away from wombats or wombats infects covid <laughs> I should say nothing, Olaf. <laughs> this is a apolitical YouTube channel slash Twitch channel. <laughs> when a zombie bites Wombat, Wombat doesn't become a zombie, the zombie becomes Wombat. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was true. But uh, let's not joke about zombies. It's a real problem in many countries. Zombies. <laughs> That's not true, Colored. People don't eat wombats. Wombats eat people. I think. I think that's how it works. Well, thank you very much, Professor Fate One. Thank you for following me on Twitch. <laughs> Jacob, thank you very much for not asking where the logic comes from. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> oh, the chat is quite memorable today. Cheers, everyone. If I figured out how to use the windows. Uh, what? Uh, lover boy. Um, how to use the windows? I don't know what you mean. It's just a setting in game. If you want to open and close the windows. And I just checked and I haven't configured them for for this truck. Thirteen hundred and seventy five kilometers to go. <coughs> Lewis, I can't drive back. I have promised that I will give up the truck for charity. So it's going to be auctioned off in Moron to a Moronian, I guess they're called. Otherwise, I would obviously have been holding back immediately after this. Builder, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Train Geek, why don't you just call yourself Train Geek on Twitch as well? It's impossible to remember all the different names you guys have on the different channels. Uh, Aledia, uh, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, but I 
do appreciate I do appreciate the following there. <laughs> well, the cows are worth something, the sheep too, the pigs, and the 500 pints of milk. But the Ford Focus? No one wants that. <laughs> Made this account before Train Geek was a thing. Train Geek is a thing? <laughs> Professor, yes, I am using it right now. Uh, and. Well, unless something really, really incredible happens, I will be using this for a very, very, very long time. Uh, I've had, I've used other tracking devices in the past. Nothing comes even close to how simple this one is to set up and how well it works, at least for me. Fred, you're... You're at the gas station, here? Let's see if Fred is speaking the truth. Let's see if Fred is here. Oh, look, there he is. I think that's Fred's truck right there. Yeah, that's Fred. That's Fred. I'm gonna give you a head start, Fred. Um, like, I'm gonna sit there for three hours. Uh, let's see. Um, wow, I didn't know. <laughs> I actually didn't know. Knew I could refuel from here, but apparently. There we go. And six o'clock in the morning again. Let's get going. <laughs> I left my wallet in Vladivostok. Then, how have I been able to pay for all the fuel we've been using? Very well disguised TGX, then. <laughs> yeah, Fossey, one of the things I like the most about Toby Eye Tracker 5 is that basically any other device it's going to take you a very very long time to set it up the first time like we're talking literally weeks if not months even to to get it perfect and the toby eye tracker 5 especially on ets2 and ats it's like five minutes of work uh, so that's that's one of the best things about it it's so easy to set it up soras yes we are completing the haul today we have 1300 kilometers to go so this it's the end of the haul as we know it finally silver wolf good evening to you sir and you don't need to wear a sensor battery life is of no interest We have what behind us? No. No, we don't. I can't see any police cars. Currently. Looks like we're in French Guyana.
Yes, Quentin, that is correct. Uh, that is correct. And um, I figured that out as well, which is why we lost here. Kind of made it on time. And it's also why we will make it on time this time. We'll make it on time this time. Is that even English? You know what I mean. Hi, Dan. Uh, I'm doing okay, thank you. Um, very happy we're finally completing this haul today. How are you doing? Please go, 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 go. Now. And... Wow. That's a very old lady. For the record, I stated clearly, David, that I didn't have a test confirming it yet. I only said I was pretty sure I have it. <laughs> and I immediately confessed when the test results came back and said I was positive. Sorry, negative. <laughs> you started your 14,000 kilometer haul today, Malai. I wish you the best of luck. Don't spend too much time thinking about how long it's going to take just uh, get your head down and dig into it uh, refresh the stream I'm planning after this uh, I'm not planning anything after this uh, because I'm doing this um, I'm a man I can only do one thing at a time well two if you count the the driving I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I do hope I'll be able to show you perhaps something you haven't seen before. A uh, new map mod perhaps. Or um, do some hauling on some map mod I haven't done anything on in a very long time. Some ATS, perhaps. Uh, I mean, last nine live streams has been on ETS too, so I, perhaps it's time to do some ATS stuff. Yeah, that's that's one very good way to start it, Malai. <laughs> Not seeing how far you have to go before you reach your destination. Banjo, welcome back, buddy. Um, well, now that I'm healthy, I don't have COVID-19, I'm feeling way better. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm feeling kind of like yesterday. Um, looking forward to having a day off tomorrow. Good point, Uffe. Great American to Chihuahua. Uh, we could absolutely do something like that. Uh, this is the final part of this haul. Yes, Banjo. So we only have 1200 kilometers to go. So another hour and 15 minutes or so, we will have reached our destination. There's not a lot of standalone maps for ATS though, Malai. Uh, I wish there were more. 
there's like three and most of them are relatively short except of course for Dalton Elliott Highway and I'm not feeling ready to go back to Dalton Elliott Highway anytime soon <laughs> it's been what is it six months since I did my 16 hour live stream on on Dalton Elliott and um, I need a longer break before I go back You have snow in northern Germany, my young. Guess that explains why we have snow here in Stockholm too. Not much, but uh, it's there's a little bit of snow here. <laughs> he will get a moron, Olaf, and the client will say, "I ordered a." Transformer for my son Bumblebee, not that thing. <laughs> you know, Kalia, despite being from New Zealand, you're actually quite funny. <laughs> uh, Project Japan is brilliant, Malai. If you don't have it already, you should download it immediately and start using it. It's a wonderful map. <coughs> You're welcome to call you. <laughs> So, Bolivar coming up. Well, let's see if I can use this camera. It was nine months ago, Eagle. Feels like yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait another nine months at least. Before we do another attempt at Dalton Elliott Highway. Toby, we have uh, 1127 kilometers to go. A little more than an hour. Excuse me. Uh, Quentin, that's not accurate. I paid 1500 for my 2080 Ti. Hi, Colt. Uh, if I'm using a cruise control, sometimes yes. Good evening, medic. And welcome to the last hour of the world's longest live streamed haul. <laughs> Uh, uh, Reese, um, I'm feeling more or less like I did yesterday. Uh, no major differences. 
really, other than feeling a little bit more tired today than I did yesterday. So, but I'm taking a day off tomorrow, so um, I'll be back on Tuesday again. Hi, Alan. There's a lot of traffic here. Oh, look, that's Pedro. Hi, Pedro. Why is everyone so worked out about how many kilometers we have left today? Uh, 1,100 kilometers. <laughs> We're getting there. Give it another hour. I'll try to make a um, time lapse, by the way, of the haul. Uh, since it is almost 30, <clears throat> 30 hours long, maybe do it in like 1 to 50, perhaps. 50 times normal. I don't know what that would be then. 20 minutes? 30 minutes, perhaps? Uh, principally, yes, this is part 9 and the final part. Uh, Alan, what's new in Stockholm? Um, uh, nothing really. We have a little, tiny little bit of snow today. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm spending my entire days at home, isolated. It could be burning. All of Stockholm could be burning. I wouldn't know. Uh, Quentin, I'm not doing map combos at the moment. So, no, I will not update it. Um, just yet. There are other people making map combos. Take a look at their combos for now. Well, there's no, su no surprise there that it's snowing in Kiruna. I mean, northern Sweden, you're probably covered in a couple of meters of snow, aren't you? Two to three meters of snow in Kiruna Island. Wow, that's uh, roughly two to three hundred centimeters too much for my taste. <laughs> 
Medic! I'm not a career logistics professional IRL. IRL, I work in IT. <laughs> Look at these soft hands. No, I'm not a professional trucker or professional anything. I work in IT. <laughs> Uh, HC Gaming, as long as you socially distance yourself in the chat, I think it's fine. Just um, make sure you keep a certain distance between your chat messages and uh, the rest of the chat messages. You're doing 700 kilometers, Quentin. Well, that's a good start. Now try doing 17,000 instead. Uh, truck vanishing in front of me, we've seen that a lot, uh, these things happens. Uh, longest haul you can do on the Eurasia map combo is probably around 8,000 kilometers, 9,000 perhaps. But um, I don't think you can make him any longer than that. Good evening, author. This year already, Alex? 14,000 kilometers in three days? That's impressive. <laughs> Excellent HC, keep those long holes coming. Lewis, uh, I'm so far pretty disappointed with 2021. There's absolutely no difference <laughs> yet. There it is, less than an hour to go. Stressed banana. Good evening to you. Welcome to the last hour of the world's longest live streamed poll. I need to remember to put live streamed in there. Um, apparently. <laughs> you got a headache thinking about it, Malay? <laughs> uh, the truck already had, I think it was somewhere between a thousand and three thousand kilometers on the odometer already before we started. 
So it might be that the length of the hall is a little bit shorter. Um, let's see what happens. Long you've been to Antarctica, that's a pretty impressive haul. Did you use uh, PJ Indo for that, or did you use uh, Vaynemap? There was a Antarctica to Vaynemap road connection. Uh, I think I used that once during a live stream, or for a live stream. <laughs> oh. All these driving around I've done in ETS2 have come to the conclusion that no one in Europe uses a lawn mower mover. <laughs> well, I've done quite a lot here in ETS2 myself, Carly, as I've come to the conclusion that New Zealand doesn't exist. Please make a map mod. We're hauling a 47 ton, whoops, wrong button, uh, 47 ton transformer. And total weight, including truck and trailer, is 84 tons. Mr. Tomescu, welcome. I think New Zealand is closer to Europe, Eagle. Um, but we should probably ask Kalia about that. Kalia or Kiwi. Uh, I will earn... Um, well, I won't earn... 1,128,723 euros. Probably more like, well, with a little bit of luck, maybe a million. It's in any case enough for me to retire from hauling uh, because I'm. Actually, it isn't. But I will be able to take a very long vacation after earning a million euros. <laughs> Was it really a million and a half on fuel and truck service? <laughs> Let's see when we get there. We'll have the results then. <laughs> There's got to be some profit in this. But I do remember the very first uh, World's Longest Haul we did two years ago. Uh, I didn't make anything from that haul. Uh, zero XP, zero money. We were coming in like a month too late. Uh, Piotr, how to make a custom hall like this? I'm um, using a program for your PC called Virtual Speditor. I've done videos on it in the past. <coughs> um, perhaps it's time to do a new video on it. Uh, but I'm using Virtual Speditor, so 
using virtual spectator i can decide where to start where to end the haul uh, what kind of trailer and cargo i want to use I'm not gonna drop off in Kiruna, no. <laughs> I don't have any plans on going to Kiruna anytime soon. Uh, no, I never had the uh, smaller mirror on this side. So this truck has been like this the entire haul, Kalia. Don't, don't slow. Ah, oh. or slow down. I don't care. Make a detour to Kiruna. Uh. No, <laughs> I'd rather not. I might actually have had enough hauling for today when we complete this one. Uh, Aquastic, we are in South America. We are, are we still in French Guiana? I think we're still in French Guiana. Could be that we're in Venezuela now. But definitely Northern South America. Wait, what, Quentin? I'm pretty sure we hold in French Guiana. Are you sure we never hold in French Guiana? Uh, yes, Milai, you can add PJ in to your, the Eurasia map combo. Just add it at the bottom and you're good to go. But it wouldn't be Eurasia anymore if you did. Minus 28 degrees, Alan. Well, you just said it yourself why I won't go. 28 is almost 50 degrees too, too uh, cold for me. I'm not really built for living in Sweden or Scandinavia. I'm kind of built for living in, I don't know, Italy. Maybe in New Zealand just to annoy Kalia. Maracas coming up.
<laughs> the UK. <laughs> they went, <mean>, nah. <laughs> uh, I know Uffe. I I have lived in Sweden and Norway almost my entire life, so I know how the cold work. But it's just that I prefer not having to have a seriously, dude. Are you? It's just that I prefer warm weather. <laughs> sure, you had warm weather in in the UK, but I mean, it rains too much. I get rusty. Uh, Malai, you don't need a road connection f to add for adding uh, PJ Indo, no. You just add the map. Uh oh. There's a problem, I think. <laughs> yes, of course, there had to be two of them. These things, I don't know why they exist because they are. They're like 10 centimeters too wide. I don't know why they were even made in the first place, but every time two of these meet, there's always a disaster. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take my chances here. They're probably not gonna move anytime soon anyway. So, um... So I'm not going to remove the traffic and add it back in again. They're going to have to sort that out themselves. <laughs> uh, they're found on all maps that utilizes them, Quentin. I've seen them on Ross, I've seen them on uh, Robex, as you said, I've seen them on well, a lot of maps. Barcelona! <laughs> yes, there are more than one Barcelona. Seven thirty-seven. HC Gaming versus download Ross map. Uh, easiest probably from uh, the SES forum, uh, or from any of my um, map combo videos, perhaps. Uh, Malai, I'm not going to blame the... I wouldn't blame the uh, helicopter thing on the AI. That's events. So, um, you can switch events off if you don't want events. <laughs> Maybe I need to create a helpline for things like that, Olaf. Wombat livestream addicts. <laughs> That's very, very kind said, that we'll love. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Here in Sweden, it's the opposite. We haven't had any non-COVID cases. Everyone has it. 
At least that's how it feels. So, let's see if I can pour some water while driving. Always a stupid idea. There we go. Cheers. Uh, EA working on a scenery update, update only. Uh, they are doing that. They are working on updating the older parts of the map. It's just that they did it for a while. And then they went back into doing expansions of the map. I don't think, I don't know, but it doesn't feel like there's a lot left to add to... Um, to South America now, so maybe they can go back and start focusing again on um, on um, beautifying the map. That was water, and I'm, I'm not drinking drinking vodka while live streaming. I rarely do. <laughs> I never do. Uh, about a year ago, they did quite a lot of heavy working in uh, in Brazil, working on the oldest parts of the map. Um, made some pretty nice updates to Rio. Started making their own um, refabs for Rio. Whoa, wrong button. So hopefully they will go back to, to doing more of that for the future. Perhaps add more details in a lot of places. <laughs> Those cubes, you shouldn't eat them, Kalia. You of all people should know that. More hidden roads, Richard, to EAA, you mean? There's already a lot of them. There's a ton of hidden roads on EAA already. It's just that the map is so big, it's bloody impossible finding them. DJ Pro, Happy New Year to you as well. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I don't feel too well, but... um. I'm glad you can't tell. 600 kilometers to go. So I guess that means less than 45 minutes. Uh, David, I have no opinion on it. Um, I personally currently use a Logitech G25 and I've always sworn to the Logitech G25 and, and 27. But that is mainly because of the shifter. Um, I'm getting a custom-made shifter. <laughs> uh, it'll be here in perhaps six weeks. So once I have that, I, I'm free to choose whatever I want. So um, I'm going to start looking into other steering wheels 
I'm guessing it won't be a Logitech next time. Uh, good evening, farmer. Yes, colored, I will leave my Logitech G25. And um, I don't know what I'm going to choose instead. But the main reason for it, the main reason I do love my G25 is for all the buttons. And with my custom-made shifter. I can't believe it's happening, but it is. Uh, I don't need it anymore. So um, I'm going to start looking for something new. Everything is more quiet than the old G25 I have. Even the G27, that's one of the selling points for the G27. Four more buttons and it's more quiet. That That's the selling points for the G27. Uh, I won't go for a G29. I, I'm going to go for something that hopefully is able to hold a proper full-size trucker steering wheel. So, um, someone suggested a Zill 130 wheel, and um, that's a brilliant idea. Welcome back, Marion. Panatec could very well be it. Um, but honestly, I right now I don't know what it will be, but something. Uh, Cruz, uh, I've created fixes and skins and things like that, but I've never made something from scratch. No, I have not. <laughs> Ask Anya to make me a custom wheel, Richard. That would be awesome. Uh, I mean, Fanatec has these uh, steering wheels where you you can swap out the, the wheel itself. I don't know why they haven't made a a truck wheel yet. I can't understand why they haven't made one of those yet. How difficult could that possibly be? That's right, there will be no stream tomorrow. I'm taking one day off. Um, but hopefully there'll be one on Tuesday. Where we are on the map, let's, let's have a quick look. Oh, we're so close. There we are. There's the moron. Just have Guatira, Caracas, La Victoria, Maracay, Valencia, and then moron to go. We're getting there. 535 kilometers to go. Uh, yes, farmer, I had the results uh, yesterday. It was negative. I don't have COVID-19, apparently. I'm just faking it, obviously. So, yeah. So, I still think I have it, but <laughs> I can't prove it. If I can su suggest any standalone trucks, Malai, yeah, well, the Torpedo, obviously. All four of RJL, uh, RJL trucks. The all of XPS trucks. Um, probably the best thing is to start with XPS. You get a few, very, a few, like six or seven very, very nice trucks.
Uh, could be the flu, could be a man cold. Um, there are four adults in my closest family who have the same symptoms as I have. Two of them are confirmed COVID-19, two of us are not confirmed. Um, but we all have the same symptoms. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we have it, even the two of us who have negative results. But there's no way to prove it, so... The Scania Mega Mod uh, Train Geek? No, I have not, and I doubt I'll ever use it. Because that sounds very stolen. Alan, thank you very much for being here, buddy. Take very good care of yourself, stay safe, and uh, I'll see you again hopefully next time. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the Mega Mod is, but it sounds like it's a lot of different truck mods combined into one mod, and if it is, I'm pretty sure it's stolen. Could be completely wrong on that, but it sounds like it's stolen. I guess that was the last time we changed the time today. Town God, welcome, sir. Good evening. You made it. We only have 500 kilometers to go, my friend. The VAD Duff XF is brilliant. Uh, then you have <clears throat> Ralph's uh, Iveco. Uh, that is a very, very nice truck as well. But uh, again, start with XPS. He has several very, very nice truck mods to, to begin with. You're leaving us, Quentin. Have a great evening. Or did you say that to uh, Arland a little bit later than the rest of us? Yeah, Rev Counter, I'm really looking forward to trying out XPS latest DAF truck. Uh, I still haven't tested it because I've been doing this. Uh, I'm if the next livestream will be on uh, ETS2, it's gonna include the DAF. I'm sure you're not the only one farmer, but aren't they paid mods? Uh, yes, I plan on doing a live stream on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday morning, I'm picking up my kids, so uh, there will be there will only be one live stream on Tuesday. The coming week and that's it for the entire week they are free Yeah, Mango, we're down to the last 500. Actually, we're down to the last 430. So, um, pretty close now. 
And happy new year to everyone. To you as well, Alan. Thank you, Mango. It's um, not something I thought we would be able to do uh, eight days ago, but here we are at Rio Guatira. And looks like we're gonna do some climbing. No, no, no. Okay, you better. Oh, you motherfucker. Seriously. What an asshole. Please don't be an asshole. Get out of my way. What's wrong with these people? I don't believe it. Uh, I'm not using any traffic mods for this, but I have traffic set to three, so we have three times the normal amount of traffic here, uh, but um, no mods. <laughs> Why I don't drive a Volvo, Andreas? Why would I? I mean, I have a Scania. A proper truck. <laughs> yes, Matt, there is a lot of uh, money and XP mods you can use. You'll find a ton of them on, um, on the Steam Workshop. And it doesn't really matter if they're made for 139 or not. You can use an older one. They... Um, can't remember ever seeing one that didn't work on a newer version of the game. <laughs> Why I'm not using a Chinese truck? <laughs> because I don't want a truck that, who, that is spying on me. I have a really hard time finding a Chinese truck that is better than my European truck, my Scania trucks, but tastes are different, I guess. That was a Turkish flag. Why is there a Turkish flag there? That's weird. <laughs> oh, Joseph. Uh, welcome to... Um, wherever we are. <laughs> Mango. Uh, yes, the test was negative. So it looks like I was faking it the whole time. I 
apparently don't have COVID-19. Abhishek, yes, we are ending the haul today. We are only 381 kilometers from our destination, so less than 30 minutes to go. Yeah, I, I watched the restaurant name there. That was Turkish as well, so there's a lot of RTTBS here. Um, I don't know what was wrong with me, Mango. Uh, delusion, perhaps. <laughs> uh, I'm, you know, I have the same symptoms as a few other family members. Two of them have confirmed COVID-19. Two of us have not confirmed or have negative test results. I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with the test results, but yeah. Placebo effect. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> I started developing the symptoms 48 hours before I found out that my other family members have it as well. Let's see, we've been here before, and the last time we were here, I think I uh, took the wrong exit, so I'm going to keep an eye on the GPS this time. Make sure I'm not taking the wrong exit. That's the one. Iray69, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. The DAF 95ATI, I think I, I think it works on 139. <coughs> I think it does. Drisha, I am like, I, I do like it, but um, we've been doing this for two hours now. I've been having a headache for the entire two hours, so I'm kind of looking forward to this ending now. I'm tired of my headache. <laughs> um... Well, let's see if, the, if let's see if you have the best question ever, Beanie. Bring it on. <laughs> That's the worst question I've seen today, Beanie. <laughs> Never mind the textures, we're almost there. Uh, I have no idea where you can find a uh, sound mod for your old Volvo mods. 
we need way more information than just a Volvo 2.2. There's a lot of Volvo mods out there. And I think the easiest thing you can do is just create your own. Uh, it's just a few changes to the uh, to the mod uh, from where it should pick up its sound. So, um, or perhaps download and use the latest version of F mod to create your own sound for it. Alex K, you can open a champagne bottle. If you like, because 329 kilometers to go. We're there in 15, 20 minutes. Uh, there's a couple of Russian trucks, Sorix, that works on uh, 139. But yeah, most of them haven't been updated. And honestly, most of them haven't really been updated since 1.30 or so. Uh, sure, many of them have had minor updates to the manifest files, but now that you're actually now that you actually have to make some changes to the mod itself to make it work on the latest version of the game, you see that most of them don't ever get any updates. It started when uh, DirectX 11 came, and all of a sudden, a lot of them had problems. F mod didn't make it any better, so. Um, Oh, the F-88, uh, Farmer. Uh, the F-88... I think I have a working version of that. Um, go to ETS2.LT and, and search for Volvo F-88. I think there's a mod out there that fixes the sound. Alex1973, uh, Happy New Year to you and best wishes for 2021 to you as well. How are you doing, Alex? I had kind of forgotten about this road. <laughs> Jesus, there's a lot of traffic here. <laughs> Ooh, you're taking care of your hangover, Alex. Is it as bad as Kalia's was? <laughs> it took her three three days to get back onto the live stream. <laughs> Scotty man, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Wow. 
<laughs> of course, some final challenges. <laughs> Ouch. Well, it's gonna take more than just 20 minutes then to complete this hole because we're not going very fast here. Only allowed to do 30 here. Come on. <coughs> Excuse me. Alex, yes. 242 kilometers to go. Jesus. <clears throat> so we're pretty close. And I really need to stop this because it feels like I'm going to cough every time I breathe in. Ah, <laughs> Mango. It's... <laughs> that's tire wear. Sorry to disappoint you, but that's just tire wear. Uh, it's not actual damage, so we won't have a engine break down or anything like that. <laughs> Farmer, this little road trip. <laughs> Is that all I managed to do? A little road trip? Avo, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Uh, the damage we have is... looks worse than it is. So 43% uh, tire wear to the truck means around 43% of the damage we have on the trailer is also tire wear so the only thing to really be concerned about is the five percent of of damage to the cargo uh, visually though it looks fine it's just um with a little bit of luck we'll get away with it We have a green light, gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. No, we don't anymore. No. You. Is everyone trying to kill me today? Uh. <laughs> Thank you for informing me, Mango. Uh, gave me time. There is absolutely no reason to go get any service at this point. Uh, we are uh, 200 kilometers from our destination and the damage you see there is all tire wear. So we're not going to have any 
engine breakdowns or engine stops at all, it's fine. It's only tire wear. Vicky, it's not crashes, it's tire wear. God damn it, this is the last time I'm not doing tire repairs. <laughs> it's only tire wear. Stop bugging me about it. Now, let's see if we can get the speed up and complete this haul. <laughs> I reached out and touched someone hard. Yeah. <laughs> Reach out and touch hard. Do, 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 do. Whoever wrote that song can't remember. What do you mean beacons on? Uh, this have taken uh, around 27 hours, uh, Callum. A little less than I thought it would actually. Quite a lot less actually. There's no crashes to talk about, Vicky. <laughs> Let's see... 182. Welcome back, Sonny Boy. And Vicky, thank you for being here. Marakai. That's the final city, I think, before Moron. Twenty-eight and a half hours, so yeah, uh, more than enough, I think. But it's still a little less than I thought it would be. Yorgo, why you can't make profiles on ETS? Uh, I have no idea why you can't make any new profiles on ETS uh, to Yorgo. Uh, out of space in your uh, documents folder. Did I say goodbye to Kalia? I'm confused. No, oh, Olaf did. Pay attention, Olaf. Vicky left, not Kalia. <laughs> it looks like it's a national bank day, bank holiday in uh, Moron, so everyone's on the roads. This could be scary. Oh, that's right, we had Valencia as well. Okay, so one more town and then... There it is, Valencia. Sure. No, don't need to change the lanes. Uh, what city in EAA we started Nance? The first city we came to in, on EAA was San Gregorio in Argentina. British Gaming, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the live stream on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. Perhaps even become a member 
uh, on YouTube, that would be awesome. Uh, or on Twitch. Start following me, goddammit, or become a subscriber there instead. If you don't, a small child with a balloon will lose his balloon. <laughs> I didn't forget Valencia on purpose. Uh, I'm gonna blame the bloody headache I have. <laughs> there she is, beautiful Valencia. Oh, how I've missed you. <laughs> you don't like balloons, so you'll... It's like an unsub. <laughs> uh, Nance, no one said that San Gregorio is a coastal city. No one has said that. It isn't, and it isn't on EA either. So there's no reason to be disappointed. But there is a river outside of um, San Gregorio, so um, it has a ferry connection. So that's where I added my ferry connection to San Gregorio, even if it's completely unrealistic. So it's not the original road connection from Calais, sorry, ferry connection from Calais to uh, San Gregorio. It doesn't exist, it's something I made. <clears throat> Mango, uh, see you next time, buddy. Take care. <laughs> you can download that road, uh, sorry, that ferry connection, by the way, in the video description on YouTube. If you two want to haul from Europe to San Gregorio. It shouldn't take many seconds to make a road connection from... Uh, from Wait, what? Make a road connection from Calais to EAA Super Rabbit? Why from Calais? It would be way easier if you make it from um, Ireland. You can almost, it's almost like you can actually see EAA uh, when you're in Ireland. Eighty-eight kilometers, eighty-seven, eighty-six. It's almost time. <laughs> nope, I didn't make a poo. I'm good. <laughs> Hi, Scotty. Uh, Callum, uh, well, without the damage, 1.1 million euros. So, pretty decent amount of euros for this. But I was a hundred percent certain he would crash into him. Well, he didn't. Uh, Sim Porsche, yes, I do use Toby Eye Tracker Five. 
What is going on there? I have a delivery to make, so excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. No, no. Okay, fine then. Uh, no, looks like we're fine on the uh, penalty, Toby. <laughs> I'm not going to be a millionaire, uh, Rowan. I'm actually going to lose money on this haul. This is a charity haul, I guess. Because I'm giving away the truck and the truck is worth 2 million euros. At least. Probably more. Um... I didn't have much of a choice there, Callum. They were never going to sort that out. It was going to take another half an hour IRL before they had sorted that, so... Um, and I want to end this live stream today. 47 kilometers to go. This is not only ETS2 same Porsche, it's uh, EAA, South America, right now. So you're saying they have four lane streets there in Turkey? Uh, sounds about right, Nance, except we didn't go to Buenos Aires. Uh, but, whoa! We're not going down that road. You haven't heard of EAA Sim Porsche? Uh, it's a... It's the largest add-on map ever made. Uh, it includes almost all of South America. Almost all of it. Look at that! Look at the GPS! It says Moron! <laughs> We're here! We're in Moron! Uh, Travis Connor Bustard, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Yeah, I'm on my way, mor <laughs> moron. <laughs> I'm on my way, Fred. <laughs> Almost there. Uh, thank you for the bits. Uh, hope so. Thank you very much. <laughs> we are here. Finally. Callum, thank you as well for following me on Twitch. No, that, <laughs> that's very true, Nance. There's no way to take a ferry from Calais to San Gregorio. <laughs> Country roads take me home to the place I belong to. West Virginia, country mama, take me home. Country roads. Uh, let's see. We have. There it is. Not that far. Two kilometers. Finally. Show you the truck. Sure. Here she is. Here's my beauty. RJL truck. Uh, the Scania T730.
<laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't forget anything anywhere. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Gorei, for following me on Twitch. Now let's see if we can make it the last two kilometers without crashing into anything. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of done with Rock, Eastern Express, EAA and long uh, long hauls for now. Thank you. It's um, I don't need any more right now. No, that's not it. There it is. Emil, thank you as well for following me on Twitch. We did it. 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 Uh, I don't want to get lost here. I don't want to crash into anything now. Straight ahead here. And up here and over there somewhere. I'm not going to do the return haul. Stop bugging me about it. <laughs> this is the end of the entire live stream. <laughs> Now let's see, I'm not going to cheat here. Where's that? Oh, oh, why didn't I cheat? Oh, oh, I'm so 100% sure that's not going to work. What the? That was stupid. Why? Why did I choose to do that? I wanted the extra 90 XP. Mm, because I really needed 90 extra XP. Tempting. To press enter. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so, Kalia is here. I better get this right. Whoa. Too close. That was stupid. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that. It's not going to work. <gasps> hmm. 
that is so not correct, but I'm taking it. This is going to take forever. Who said that? <laughs> okay, so, wow. I lost, really? Still? Fair? Reasonable. That's not bad. <laughs> A uh, penalty for one five point one percent damage. They took they stripped me of two hundred and thirty thousand euros. That's a lot of money for five percent damage. Still, um, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not completely happy with that though. Hmm. But um, other than that. I'm 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 okay with it. And no, it didn't show up on uh, Truckbook. The reason for that, as some of you perhaps know, uh, Truckbook got an update this morning, and it clearly states that any ongoing hauls uh, might not be registered, uh, and you should complete your haul before upgrading to newest version. But I couldn't start the uh, Truckbook client or ETS2 then without first updating, so I didn't have much of a choice. But, um, yeah, there it is. There it is. Uh, <laughs> the last 3,000. I think it's too late for the last 3,000. Um... I'll just park it here. So there you have it, guys. That's the uh, world's longest live streamed haul of 2020 slash uh, 21. Nalin, thank you very much for following me on Twitch. Yeah, I cheated. That's what I did. <coughs> no, actually, I didn't cheat. Uh, you can watch the entire thing again if you like. It's only 28 and a half hours. Well, thank you as well for following me on Twitch. <laughs> the parking looks perfect. That's precisely where I wanted to put the trailer. Uh, perfectly aligned with um, the direction of uh, Mecca. Uh, the container obviously aren't pointing towards Mecca. So, but my trailer is. So that why that's why it looks a little bit wrong, but it's not. Anyway, uh, guys, I'm going to take one day off. I'll be back again on Tuesday uh, for for another live stream. I have no idea what we're going to do then, where we're going to haul on, even, even on what game we're going to do it. I have no idea. All I have to say is thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Some of you, many of you even have been here for the entire haul, which is absolutely... Uh, Olaf, you, you need help. <laughs> uh, but thank you very much, guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again very, very soon. Have a great evening. Stay safe. Uh, avoid everyone. The world is dangerous still for a few months. Take care. Have a great evening. Good night.
Late update everyone. Looks like the hall was sent to truck book anyway, so it's there now. 